white people. My name is Anthony, and I give the people what they want. And last week, there was an intense outcry for me to review white people. The, the council, council has spoken. spoken. Here on the Anthpo channel, we never deny a guest even the most ridiculous requests. White, white people. people. Spoiler alert, I am white. Bruh. You're probably thinking, Anthony, you can't review white people and be one of the white people. That's like if a band reviewed their own album. Oh yeah, you're totally right. Real quick, let me just review a different race. And while I'm at it, why don't you help me pick out an apology video thumbnail? Ooh, do you like any of these? Uh, yeah. Me neither. Here are my objective opinions on individuals who are considered to be and are Caucasian. However, I understand that you cannot judge individuals based on the color of their skin, but nevertheless, I will be assigning a number value to white people because I have been peer pressured to do so. You would assume that being white myself would give me an understanding as to how I got like this, but to be honest, of course I freaking don't. From my understanding, uh, my ancestors went from monkey to no hair monkey, and somewhere in between, we decided to do one of those Club Penguin color swaps. So in order to get a better understanding about how white people came to be historically, I decided to reach out to a friend who's an anthropology major. So first, I want to give a broad overview on amino acids and how our biological diversity stems almost entirely from- Yeah, I'm not going to make you sit through all that garbage. Here's all you have to know. Color of skin reflects our ancestors' exposure to the sun. Basically, the more exposed our ancestors were to the sun, the more active our melanin, or color juice, tends to be. It is tea chart time. Tea chart time. Tea chart, tea chart. Over here we got the pros and over here we got the cons. Now, over here on the pros side, uh, we're responsible for directing the movie Shark Tale. Um, and as for the cons... <laughs> Moving on to some notable white people, we have Spencer from iCarly, John Cena, that kid with the funny hair from Stranger Things. So how do I feel about white people? Well, personally, I can't stand getting sunburnt, uh, and I haven't finished the con list yet but I do like Spencer from iCarly, so I'm gonna have to rate white people 2.2 stars out of five. Not enough color juice. Yo, Henry, what are your thoughts on white people? They're cool. 